This question is super important because it's testing us about the difference of a sequence versus a series. We are given that an is equal to 2n over 3n plus 1, and the first part is asking us, does an converge? So the question is pretty much asking, does this formula approach to a finite number as n goes to infinity? So let's go ahead and compute our limit. And I'll just write down as n goes to infinity, and we'll put on this expression right here, 2n over 3n plus 1. And based on the form right here, what I need to do is worry about the numerator. Well, that's just 2n, right? And then worry about the highest power of the denominator, so 3n. This right here will approach to 2n over 3n, and then the n's can be canceled. And therefore, we know that this approach to 2 over 3. So because 2 over 3 is a finite number, therefore, we know that this formula right here, the sequence converge, converges to 2 over 3. So we can say a n converges to 2 over 3. And this right here will be the response for that part. Thus, the sequence converge. All we need to do is just take the limit. All right, let's look at this one. Does the series, the summation from 1 to infinity a n converge? So the difference between a sequence and series is that a series is a sum of bunch of numbers, and those numbers are just a sequence. Okay, so we're talking about an again. In another word, if you look at these values, plugging n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, and they produce a bunch of values, and then you're trying to add them up, do we have a finite sum? That's what this question is asking us. Does the series converge? Do we get a finite sum? So one way to do it is, let's worry about what will happen eventually to this formula. As n goes to infinity, we know that an approach to two-thirds. In another word, uh, eventually we'll pretty much just have two-thirds, 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 a lot of them, infinitely many of them, right? And if we add up a lot, a lot, a lot of two-thirds, what do we get for the sum? We will end up with past the infinity. Therefore, this right here diverges because we do not get a finite sum. So we know that we can say the summation 1 to infinity a n this right here is a series, this right here diverges, and we technically know that it diverges to past the infinity, but then we can just say diverges, and the reason for that is because we know that a n does not approach to zero. Because the only way that we can possibly have a finite sum is that this formula inside is approach to zero, and that's the test of divergence. So we can say this right here, because a n does not approach to zero, and that's the test for divergence. And whenever this happens, we can draw the conclusion right away. If a n does not approach to zero, we know the series diverges. So that's good. And um, but then the response for the sequence is that the sequence does converge. It converges to two thirds, but the series diverges. So. Um, that's it. Yeah.